Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Scenes. Thanks so much for joining me again for another video. This is going to be a little short and sweet video about my upcoming holiday. So a lovely lady mentioned on one of my previous videos, why don't I do a little roundup of my new made wardrobe for our holiday that's coming up very, very soon. So I thought that was a really, really good idea. So thank you for that suggestion. You know who you are. So yeah, we're heading away very, very soon and the weather is absolutely glorious. So I'm hoping it lasts. It's just a staycation. So that means we can just throw everything into the car, which makes things a little bit easier. So I've got everything piled up on the bed here next to me, waiting to be sorted, waiting to be packed, which I kind of enjoy going on holidays. And it has been a long time since we've been on holidays. Yes. So very, very exciting. I kind of I need to remember how to pack for a holiday, but that's a very, very good complaint. We're very, very lucky. So um, I've got a few bits of clothing, a few things that I've made recently and a few bits and bobs that I put in my suitcase anyway to make packing uh, easier. So I'll run you through those. If you have any questions, please leave a comment uh, in the box below. You know how much I love having the chats. So I'll get started. So one of the first things is a lovely new make, which is my Kilo Wrap dress, which I made very, very recently, which I am loving. So it's got the big straps at the side. Uh, to do your flying squirrel. I put a little whale on here because I was kind of getting a bit of nautical vibes on this. So I am loving this. I really, really am. I can't believe it took me this long to make this dress. Um, for all of my new makes, I should say, I'll be doing a July makes video. So I'll go through them in more detail. But now this is just a whistle stop tour. So yeah, this is my Kilo wrap dress. I made a the knee length version and I did short sleeves and I have been wearing it loads because as I say, the weather has been just fabulous. So I'm loving this. So that is definitely going in the bag. And then another recent make is, and this was a bit of a, yeah, will I, won't I get it done? It's my Carly swimsuit. So yes, I'll be definitely going into this in more detail in my July makes, but here she is. So I did the little ruffle on the front and I did the ruffle on the, um, the legs as well. And I did the high back. So very happy with how this came out. It was a whole new ball game of how to do a swimsuit, but yeah, really enjoyed it and so delighted with this now that I'll be able to wear it in the pool. So that was unexpected. It was touch and go whether I was going to get it made or not, but yes, delighted with that. So they are two of my recent makes. Moving on to a few little basics that I'm going to bring, and these are just t-shirts. So t-shirts, I think dead handy, you know how, how I enjoy a t-shirt. And these are the ones that I got made of in June and I'm so, so pleased I did because I've been wearing them all loads. So my Agnes t-shirt that I have a little um, kind of so long beginner tutorial for, so I'll link that below. So this is perfect. Then also my um, La Brea tea in this lovely bottle green. You can tell I haven't done the holiday ironing yet. I hope you'll, you'll uh, forgive me for that. My lovely La Brea tea in the beautiful bottle green. And then I think this is probably one of my favourites actually. This is my Tabitha t-shirt in this beautiful yellow colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Because I think all of these will match perfectly with a few trousers that I'm going to bring. So the weather right now is absolutely beautiful. I'm in shorts um, that I think I bought... It must be at least 15 years ago in Awer, a shop that's since closed down, but I used to buy all my clothes there. And yeah, these are so old. And what this has highlighted for me is that I need to make trousers and I need to make shorts. I put off wearing making shorts because I was like, oh, we live in Ireland. We don't get that much good, good weather. But then when we do, I really regret not having made them. So yeah, we'll put that on the list again. But these are just um, um, ready to wear khaki shorts and I really, really do like them. But and I will bring them please I'll be able to wear them. So for trousers I just have a pair of jeans and these are one of my favourite jeans. These are just um, h and I really really like them. Hopefully I don't have to wear them because it'll be nice and warm. Then I've got um, a lovely pair of white jeans and these are jewels that I bought years and years ago which I really like as well although they're, they're quite heavy so but I do really like the colour and they go really nice with a few of the t-shirts and then I've also got my Hey Day Dungarees. So these are me made. These are the ones that I made last year, which I love. So I've worn these now a couple of times this summer again, and I just love them. And they go beautifully with all my t-shirts. Then if the weather does cooperate, and I really, really hope it does, I've got my new um, little super basic tank to match my little boy's t-shirts, which obviously we're all going to wear at the same time because they're just too cute. And I did make my very first reel about this, which I had so much fun doing. I really did. So that's my little uh, buckets and spades um, super basic tank. For all these, of course, I will link all the details below because I would have been through them on different videos. So if you want more detail, I'll link those videos below. But this, as I say, so stop tour. So, oh, that's the back, the bit that's patched up. So yeah, this is my the front, the uh, super basic tank. And then also I made this years ago. This is an Ogden cami in this beautiful fabric with loads of cocktails on it. Again, needs an iron. Um, I can't, I think I bought this in, 
is it Ditto Fabrics? I think years ago, I saw this fabric online and I couldn't find it anywhere and I stalked it and I eventually found it. I think it's Ditto Fabrics. And it's got all these little cocktails on it and I absolutely love it. Obviously the weather does have to be super, super lovely to wear this. Um, and what I did was I did, um, instead of doing a facing, I just did it with some lining and it's full length just because it is quite sheer. But yeah, I'm hoping I get a, um, a wear this little Ogden cami. I really, really like it. But as I say, yeah, made that neither today nor yesterday. Um, and then I'm hoping again I don't get any wear out of these. Oh, sorry, I just found another t-shirt. My strip tee, I think I'll bring that too. <laughs> there we go. My beautiful strip tee with the rainbows at the back. Because when you're going away with small children, you don't know what's going to get stained, what's going to look good, what's not going to get the wear. So may as well have all these as backup. Um, then for the evenings and stuff, when it gets a bit colder, I have my two hug hoodies, which I think are great for layering. So I've got my little rainbow version here. That's the little hug hoodie there with the rainbow binding at the bottom. And then I've got my hoodie hoodie, hug hoodie hoodie version. The lovely grey one with the um, the gold glittery ribbing on it as well, which I love. So I think they'll be super handy as well. Then I also have me made pyjamas. So I made these last summer and these are in the lovely little watermelon popsicles. So this is the... Um, and I always forget, it's the Lara, the Lego, Lego, Lego tank from Itch to Stitch. So it's a little tank top. And then to go with those, I made the Tilly and the Buttons um, Juno pyjama bottoms. I just made them full length, but they go straight down. They're not tapered and they don't have the cuff at the bottom. So a little bit um, comfier just for summer. So yeah, I made these last summer and I absolutely love them. So I'm delighted I get another wear to get them again this year. So they are my PJs. A few bits that I bring um, when I'm packing as well, which I think are quite handy, um, little zipper bags. So I've got tons of these. I've got so many. I use them as makeup bags for putting little bits and bobs in. Um, I use little scraps for them and I use fat courses. So this is a beautiful leaf fabric. I made the most beautiful. I love it. It's a Betty dress in this uh, leaf fabric years and years ago. It's from Minerva and I love it. So that was a leftover and then I've just got a little star on the inside and I'll just fire all kinds of things in there. And then I've also got this, or oh, I should say, this is a little zipper pouch, um, tote, um, zipper pouch that I had a tutorial for, that I found a tutorial for online. I'll link it below, but yeah, it's just so handy and it comes in all different sizes as well, which is brilliant. So I just have these in a load of different sizes and they hold everything. It's just brilliant. So yeah, zipper pouch. Then I have this, which I made again, donkeys years ago. I think even before I started sewing properly. Um, it's a little toothbrush holder. So it's made out of an old towel and with a little bit of binding and a ribbon and you can fit your toothpaste in here and your toothbrushes in these ones. So yeah, it's really handy and I bring it every time I go on holidays and it's so old, but it's so handy because you can just use it and then just fire it in the washing machine when you get home. So yes, very handy. If I can find the tutorial I used for this, I will because it's dead handy. Um, then I also bring a load of these little drawstring bags. So again, just made of scraps or odds and sods, whatever fabric you've lying around, a little ribbon. So, and I use these as wash bags. So when we're away, fire all the dirty laundry in here. And when you come home, chuck them all into the washing machine. So one step, it's dead easy. So I have a load of these. I think I'm bringing probably one each actually. I bring little of these drawstring bags. They're super, super handy. Nothing says going away um, more than a little bit of panic last minute sewing. So I whipped up a few little bucket hats. So here's one for my older boy and here's one for me. So this is my older boy's one because he is obsessed with dinosaurs. So um, the, the poor boy, I took him out a few weeks ago because I needed to buy thread and interfacing. So I took him to our local haberdashery shop and he spotted this. How could I not buy it? It's just brilliant. So this is the Sandcastle Bucket Hat. I did make him one um, last year, even the year before, I think, but it's miles too small now. So and he is very, very good about wearing hats. So he loves this. I was so happy. So it's got dinosaurs here and then in the inside it's got daisies because that was the only other bit of uh, cotton I'd left over. So he doesn't mind in the slightest. So it's got daisies on the inside and it's got dinosaurs on the outside. So he loves this, which is great. Um, I made him, that's the age four to seven and he's three and a half, but this fits really well and there's a bit of growing room in it as well, which is great. And then for me, I made one as well. So this again is a sandcastle. Um, this is a grey, it's grey navy canvas and then it's a navy with little hearts in the inside which i'll show you how i got where i got this fabric shortly um and i've got a lovely little one of the new uh, rosy little rosy cheeks labels it says you do you which i love which i think is really really cute so i made this and it is miles too big for me so um i think i made the 
is it the small adult or medium adult or something anyway according to my measurements yeah it's miles too big so I'm gonna have to put a bit of elastic in the back because it's it's at least two inches too big at the back but yeah I really really like it and I really want to wear it so I might see what I can do now before my holidays so definitely another bit of last minute panic sewing on this but yeah I think it's really really cute so the reason that I had this fabric left over is because of my last make that you would have seen in my plans video for July and here she is it's my Apex tote bag from Incomplete Stitches, which I love. So it's a beautiful tote bag, a little bit dusty. Um, yes, sorry about that. Um, so this is everything I, everything you see here is from Quilt Yarn Stitch and it is just fabulous. All the hardware, all the fabric, it was just brilliant. It was such a one-stop shop. It was just great. So this was just so much fun to make. I enjoyed every single second. So it's got pockets here at the front and then a snap here. We'll talk more about the snap in my July makes video. Yeah, that was tricky. And then it's lined with the little um, heart fabric here. So it's got that little pocket, which I think is a gorgeous detail here. And then it's got the little things here and I'm very happy with my matching along here. Then on the back, you've got two other big, huge pockets here as well, which is fabulous. Then it's got this little webbing here as little hand straps. It's got the beautiful rainbow as the tote straps. Then on the inside, it's got a huge big zip um, and a zip facing, which is lovely. And it's got the little zip tab. Honestly, Sarah has thought of everything in this pattern. It's just fabulous. So you open up the zip and then inside I have got a welt pocket, which I am super proud of, never done one of those before. So that's fully zipped up there as well. And then on the other side, there's two more little pockets here. So obviously you can do any configuration you like. If you want another welt pocket here, if you wanted more pockets anywhere you like, you can just adapt the pattern. So two huge pockets here. And then it also has a lanyard for your keys. Another little rosy cheeks one there. I made this, I can do anything. And I've got the little um, twirly thing here to hold your keys. So that slots inside as well. So it is just fabulous. I just love this bag. So happy with it. It's the perfect size. It really is. In the light, this is navy, but it's definitely, do you think it's giving Wimbledon vibes? I think it is. The green and purple. Um, so yeah, so delighted with this and it's going to come on our little holiday. So can't wait to get snapped this maybe on the beach, which I think is really, really nice. So I think that's everything I wanted to show you. So I'm really, really hoping for nice weather. I'm really, really hoping the holidays go well, that the two boys are happy, that the two boys are well. We've had a little bit of sickness this month, um, the usual, the usual carry on, yeah, in the world that we live in now, but they're both doing really, really well. Um, I'm hoping to catch up with some family, hoping to catch up with some friends as well while we're away. And uh, yeah, that's all. So I'm... You won't see this until we're back because I just won't get a chance to edit this and I want to put in a few little pictures for you as well. So I want to do that properly. Hopefully I'll put in a few snaps of our little holiday. So thank you so much everybody for watching and I will see you when we get back from our holidays. Take care. Hi everyone, we are back now from our holidays. So we had a great time. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little bit um, I put in earlier of what I was going to bring on holidays. I thought it'd be interesting now to see um, what I actually did wear on those holidays. So I'm in my older boy's bedroom at the minute because the younger boy is napping, so hence the change in scenery um, and a couple of nice dinosaurs. Um, so we had an absolutely brilliant time away. So we had a few nights in a hotel, which is lovely. And then we had a few nights staying with family, which is also really, really nice. So the amazing, amazing weather we had when we left Dublin didn't really manifest uh, when we got on holidays. It was, the weather was okay, but it wasn't great. But I still managed to wear a lot of my Mime clothes. So the first thing that was an absolute success was my Carly swimsuit. So I was able to wear this, this to the pool and it was just so nice to know that I had made my own swimsuit. So, and this is it again. So it's been through the wash again and yeah, this fabric is just fabulous. And I, I'll talk more about this in my July makes video. So I'm not quite sure if this video comes out before or after the Ju July makes, but yeah, keep an eye and I'll, and I'll talk more about it. But I love it. I really, really loved it. I felt so great in it. Love the ruffle, love everything about it. So yeah, delighted with this. Um, the next thing, which was a massive success, was my Apex Carry. So this bag here. So basically this bag this um, Agnes t-shirt and my Hey Day Dungarees was basically my holiday wardrobe. I wore it all the time and it was just so perfect, so comfortable. It was still quite warm when we were away, but um, so the Hey Days were perfect. They're in a beautiful linen and this bag is just brilliant. It held everything. It literally had beach stuff, nappy changing stuff, change of clothes, sun cream, bottles of water, snacks, everything and all the pockets and everything. It was just 
brilliant. So yes, again, I'll talk more about this in my July mix. A few more things that were great were our bucket hats. So this is my little boy's one, dinosaurs. Yeah, he loved wearing that, which was brilliant. And then also um, my hat, which I did manage um, to get altered by the time we left. So what I did was I just put a little bit of elastic into the back and now it fits perfectly. So yeah, delighted with that. And of course it matches the handbag. So yeah, the accessories. So did love wearing this. Didn't get to wear it a huge amount, but um, I'm hoping to get more wear out of it now, hopefully if we get some nice weather again. So they were really, really great. Um, the one thing I didn't wear, two things I didn't wear, were my kilo wrap dress. I just never got an opportunity to wear it, but never mind, because it gets so much wear generally anyway. And also my cocktail themed Ogden cami. The weather just wasn't hot enough, which is fine. The rest of the stuff was absolutely brilliant. So um, so these are the shorts. I, I don't think I showed them on my previous video, but these are the shorts that I brought. So Awear, yes, Awear RIP, if, if anybody knows that shop, it was just brilliant. So these are uh, just little khaki shorts that I wore. I actually wore a good bit. Um, I think you're more inclined to wear short shorts when you're not where you live, because I, I definitely wouldn't be rocking these around my house, but but yes, when you're on holiday, I think you get away with an awful lot more. Um, so I wore these an awful lot as well. And then I wore my yellow t-shirt. I wore my beautiful green La Brea t-shirt. I forgot to mention one thing. On my on the little bit before this, um, I was wearing my 8T. I don't think I mentioned what this was actually, so that's, if anybody's wondering, if anybody's wondering. So those t-shirts were just great. There was one morning that I put on my beautiful yellow Tabitha t-shirt with my Hey Day Dungarees. And yeah, I thought that was going to be a great outfit. Walked into the bathroom, I looked like a minion. I looked like a minion, so I took that straight off and decided that maybe I shouldn't wear a yellow t-shirt and navy dungarees. So hence, this white t-shirt and the Hey Day Dungarees outfit was born. Then I also did get an awful lot of wear out of my hug hoodie because yes, it was cold. Um, so this was just wonderful to have. And then of course I wore my beautiful white jeans as well. And uh, they did get a little bit mucky, but never mind. So yes, absolutely loved wearing these and they were really great. And I did get one day's wear out of my beautiful um, super basic tank at the very start and it was a little bit warmer, but then it, it clouded over, which is fine. Um, so it was just lovely, lovely to get away. Um, we had some beautiful seafood because we were by the coast. So I'll put in a few pictures of, uh, of some beautiful meals, which were eaten very, very quickly while the boys were eating and hoping that they wouldn't get too anxious when we were eating. So yeah, you, it's amazing that you can eat fish and chips in about two and a half minutes flat. Um, but all the restaurants were lovely to the boys. And uh, yeah, if you have a kid's menu with coloring, you are onto a winner. Um, so the hotel was very, very nice. As I said, the pool was great. So um, youngest boy, that was his first time in the pool and he loved it. So that was really, really good fun. Uh, we went on nice walks. We went on a boat. We saw a seal. We saw lots of nice birds. It was just a lovely, lovely time to get away. And then um, staying with family and we went to a lovely wildlife park. So I'll pop in a few pictures of that as well, which is really great. I've just noticed what I'm sitting on actually. And this is my little boy's chair, but this is his blanket. Um, my sister made him this when he was little. It's a crochet blanket and it's just absolutely beautiful. Just caught sight of it there, so I had to show you guys. She is so talented, seriously. It's absolutely beautiful. So just thought, just thought somebody might be uh, interested in that. So that was our great little trip away. So um, personally, it was nice to kind of see what I brought and then what I actually wore. There's nothing worse than unpacking a lot of folded clothes that never saw the light of day. But I think what I brought was really, really suitable to where we were going, the time of year, the kind of activities we were going to be doing. Um, so there was, there was sun cream and a raincoat every day, but that is holidaying in Ireland. So thank you so much for joining me on this little um, Me Made holiday adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. And I will come back to you very, very soon with another video. Take care, everyone. Bye.